Good in Dodger Blue, don't pay. How do both of you feel when you hear the, the stories that the Dodgers are saying and that people are thinking you're the final two pieces that will get them the World Series championship after the frustrations of the last two years? We can uh, take it as a compliment for sure, um, but, you know, we don't want to add any extra pressure. You know, we're coming here to play the game the same way we always do. Um, I think uh, both inside we're, we're winners. You know, we work hard to, to get to where we are, and uh, we're just going to bring it here. Um, to be able to, uh, to jump onto a team like the Dodgers, you know, a team that has had the amount of success they have had the past couple of years, and to be able to add a player like Mookie Betts, and, um, and then to be able to add myself to that mix as well, that is, um, that's something special to be a part of, and, and we're both very excited for that. With a process like this trade took, you know, took about a week to complete and it was so public, how do you sort of cope with that? How do you approach that? How do you deal with just everything that goes along with that? For me, it was just uh, trying to get a place to live. I mean, I, mean, I was pretty much uh, doing everything the same. I just I had a plane set and I just didn't know which way it was going to go. And so it was, it was fun, you know, kind of stressful at times, but it was fun at times and uh, glad it got done. Um, and for myself, uh, my wife and I have a two and a half year old and a six month old, so that um, that kind of takes all of our focus and attention. And we had nothing to do, you know, with the trade stuff or whether or not it was going to happen or not going to happen. So it didn't uh, it didn't affect you know our daily our daily routine or anything. But um, you know, once we found out we were coming, we were both excited. You know, we shared some text messages and some phone calls, and uh, we're happy to be here. Uh, for both of you guys, uh, just kind of any thoughts about moving, you know, switching divisions, switching leagues? I guess it changes more for me than it does for Mookie because now I have to uh, to swing the bat and run the bases. And You're two for your last four, though. <laughs> two for my last three. three. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, for me, it, it, it really takes baseball back to uh, to the high school days and and just being a little kid. You know, I didn't get to swing it in college. Um being in the American League for my entire career, you know, getting a couple at bats here and there in the inner league, but to uh, to be able to do it every start and and to do all that, and Andrew knows how much I enjoy, you know, taking BP and just um, just going out there and having fun, and to be able to do that again, I'm I'm very grateful for it. I think the only adjustments would just be kind of seeing new pitchers um, over the time, and I hadn't been in the National League, obviously, so. Um, just seeing seeing different guys uh, at the beginning will be take a little getting used to, and then should be fine. Mr. Betts, is that number fifty? Did you request that number, or team gave it to you? Uh, I requested it. I think it was open, so I mean, I'm pretty. Uh, <laughs> that's why I keep number fifty because nobody wants it, and so I'll, I'll keep it. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Price? Um, I went with thirty three because of. Whenever I first got to the big leagues, um, James Shields, he's a California guy. He was uh, one of the guys that really took me under his wing and showed me the right way to do things at the field, away from the field, just being a father and a husband. And he's a guy that I've, I've looked up to you know, ever since I've met him. And he's worn 33 for his entire career in the big leagues. So for him to, uh, to do what he did for me, I thought this was a way for me to be able to pay him back a little bit. Andrew, can you describe when you fell in love with those two men? Each. <laughs> it was a summer night. Um, <laughs> um, David and I obviously have a lot of history. Um, fortunately, the 2006 Devil Rays were so bad that we got the first pick in the 2007 draft and wisely chose David. Um, you know, I've watched him grow and continue to evolve on the mound and um, obviously, the success he's had is evident, and everybody knows about that. But he was as good of a teammate as I've ever seen. Just the impact he has in the clubhouse uh, was as significant as I've seen. And with Mookie, it um, goes back a long time uh, from afar. He may, may want to get a restraining order against me from uh, <laughs> watching him just coming up through the minor leagues and uh, breaking into the big leagues. I mean, you know. 
he embodies everything that we really value about a position player. Uh, the impact he has on defense, the instincts on the bases, um, you know, in the batter's box, and it's you know, easy to say, but guys who are aggressive in the strike zone and passive out of the strike zone, you know, he embodies all of that. And so, you know, when we talk, when I talked to him the other day, <clears throat> I told him that, you know, in all the digging that we do on players that we're looking to acquire, um, that the feedback we got from teammates and clubhouse guys and different guys that he's come across in his career, he would blush if he heard all the nice things that were said about him. And so the impact that he's made uh, on the field and also off was another big factor as well. David, uh, two of the last three seasons, you missed some time with injuries. Uh, just kind of wondering where you are health-wise right now. Uh, what are your goals in terms of how many innings you want to pitch this year? And also, uh, these guys have kind of been known to you know, be able to use their pitching depth to give guys, say, extra days of rest or skip turns in their rotation to uh, you know, make sure they're ready to go at the end of the year. Um, would you be open to stuff like that, or have you guys talked about that at all? Mm -hmm. I'll um, I'll do whatever these guys ask me to do. You know, whether it's um, anything but catcher, I'll take that back. That's um, <laughs> that is one thing I will not do. But um, health-wise, I feel really good. Um, just getting some stuff done on my wrist. You know, it really um, I can tell a big difference just in in day-to-day -day activity. So um, using this off-season to uh, to get back to full health. You know, this is the longest off-season I've had. You know, since I've been in uh, in the big leagues. So for that to come at this time and to use that to um, to get back healthy. You know, everything feels really good right now. Yeah, for Mookie, where are you contract-wise? Are you willing to discuss a long-term extension with the Dodgers during this season? Um, you know, right now I just got here. You know, I'm still trying to find a house and all those type of things, and so I'm not even really uh, thinking about that. Um, you know, I'm just focused on, on on staying with 2020 and uh, you know going from there. Skipper. What is uh, your level of anxiety and anxiousness to get to spring training now that you have these two gentlemen? Uh, certainly more, more the uh, latter. I'm very excited. Um, obviously, as Andrew kind of spoke to it, the, the play, the performance um, speaks for itself. But the things that you really can't quantify, the impact they have on people around them, uh, even extending to the community and the fan base, uh, uh, goes without saying what they've done in the past. So I think that that in itself makes me very excited. And just to see how these guys assimilate with their teammates um, and the coaches. And yeah, as a coach, you just want to get going. And what we do is compete. That's what we love to do. And and um, yeah, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be more excited. There was a player this offseason that didn't want to come here because he what, what he called the Hollywood lifestyle. Have you thought about how you'll adjust to that? Is that any, you know, any concern of yours at all? Um, it is it's not a concern of, of mine. Um, I'm here to play baseball. Uh, my family will be out here. That is a, a huge part of me. So um, the only thing that's changed for me is spring training location and, you know, the front of our jerseys. So um, I don't think I have to worry about the Hollywood lifestyle. And I've known Mookie for a while as well, and I don't think you have to worry about him either. So uh, he is uh, he's a very focused individual. No, I mean, yeah, you, it's pretty easy to get lost in it, I'm sure. But, um, you know, like, I, like he said, I'm, we're here to play baseball. I mean, we have to keep our minds there. And, you know, we're super fam family-oriented guys. And so um, we spend a lot of time with family.